everyone, my name is Eva Halbeck and welcome to yoga. Today we're going to do yin yoga. Yin yoga for um, the neck, shoulder, arms, and wrist. So the upper body. Yin yoga is mostly done for the lower body. Uh, that's where we stiffen most, but we're going to do the upper body. We can't forget that either. Um, so we're going to use a rolled up blanket or towel, not too much, this might be a little bit too much, but I have this now, um, two blocks, strap, and a chair, any chair will work, as long as it doesn't really slide away from you too much, but you can work with it, whatever you have. Um, we're going to time, time the posture, so if we do a pose for one side, or let's say three minutes, we would have to do the other side for three minutes as well. So that's why I have that here to time us to see how long we are in the postures. So if there is anything going on in your body and you are in the pose and you feel like this is not safe at all, just does not feel right, I can't breathe normal breath, then please come out of it. Then you would have to adjust or just sit that one out whatever you need to do with the movement there. Uh, so there should not be any pain at all. A sensation of discomfort maybe, but that you'll be able to breathe through it, but no pain um, and putting the body into a, um, a locked position that you can't even move or breathe, that is completely not um, the way we wanna practice. So that means you would have to get out of the pose. So be really gentle with yourself. Less is often more than more. <laughs> so just be pay attention to that. We practice ahimsa, non-harming. So, okie dokie. Um, I'm putting this to the side. I'm gonna use the rolled up blanket or towel for underneath my shoulder blades and blocks for my knees. So let me put this up here. Legs, or soles of the feet together, and butterfly. And the blanket is going to be positioned underneath my shoulder blade. Oh, um, wait. Underneath my shoulder blade. So my shoulders and my arms can kind of fold over it. So it's opening up the front body and then the shoulder as well. So we're gonna have the arms in cactus. So that cactus is this position here, bending the elbows. And if that is not right for the shoulders, you can extend the arms. So make sure that you put the arm in a position that feels safe, okay? Not just because I am doing the cactus, doesn't mean that you need to do it. So you have options. So, so, so the feet together, blocks underneath, you might feel a little sensation in the groin area, and that's perfectly fine. So you position the blocks in a way that works best for you. On top of the towel or the blanket, and then you bring the arms in cactus. So allow yourself to take the time to come into the pose, finding the tools that you need, and allowing yourself to be in here So you find your position. You start to close your eyes. Arms may be extended if that's better for the shoulders or in cactus. And if you feel that you need to put something underneath the arms or the elbows, feel free to do so. A lot of options here. Now we're gonna take Three deep cleansing breaths through the nose, inhale, and exhale, side out. Two more times, inhale through the nose, and let it go. One more time, inhale, and let it go.
So we yin yoga, we hold the postures for a few minutes. Allowing the body to completely soften and melt. But that could be kind of a struggle to allowing the body to relax. So we use your exhalation to help us to let go and soften. So you breathe through the nose on inhalation and exhalation. Softening your face. Softening your fingertips. Softening the shoulders. Softening the chest. Soften the belly. Soften the hips. Soften your legs. And your toes. So notice on your exhalation how you allow the body to melt even more to the floor. Allowing the gravity to help you to soften and relax. Letting go completely. Softening the breath. Start to observe the stillness. Stillness in the physical body. There is no movement. You're not moving the body with the muscular system. The muscles are softening. And that's what we're trying to do in yin yoga. Letting go of the bones, letting go of the joints. So the more the muscles are relaxed, the more the bones, the joints can open up. So notice the front of the shoulders and your chest and notice how it feels. And pay attention to the tissue in front of the shoulders and your chest. Now slowly roll over to your right side. And press yourself up to see the position. Well, the next
next one we're going to use the chair. No, sorry, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to use a wall. So just prop yourself up against a wall. Your legs can be crossed or your legs can be extended. Finding the wall, snug up against the wall. You don't have to be completely up against it, but so your spine is long. And now we're going to find the length in your neck. So head is going to the left, allowing the side tissue, your right side tissue of your neck to soften. We're going to pause here for about three minutes and at any time it feels too much, you gently bring the head up if you need to. So we're relaxing your leg, your head to the left. Softening the shoulders. Allowing the arms to settle down, just hang. Your belly is soft. So you're not thinking about tucking the belly in, lifting the belly up. Just allow it to be soft. And relax your legs. Relax your thighs. Relax your knees, softening, and your ankles and your toes. If you're feeling too much pressure in the back of your legs, you can have a rolled up blanket underneath your knees if you need to. Allow yourself to soften with your exhalation. Just letting go. If there is any stuff going on in your neck. You don't have to stay here for the whole time and if you're starting to feel painful, please just bring your head up with the support of the hand. So just notice what's going on. you can slightly turn your nose down towards your left shoulder just to get a little bit of a different sensation. Now bring your left hand underneath your head, underneath your chin, and then support the head coming up to straight. And then release it. Right. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Tilt the head down to your right, so you're feeling the side of the left side here. And anytime this starts to be too much you gently raise the head up. Okay. 
Use your exhalation to let go and soften. Relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing your belly. And your legs. Now, see if you can focus your exhalation on this area where you feel that stress, the stretching sensation. Use your mind to focus the breath to that body part that needs to be opened up and lubricated. So the mind is powerful. Just need to know what we are doing with the mind, using it right. And in this case, we are using the mind to focus the breath to soften your left neck or the left side. If you feel at any time you need to come out of this pose, feel free to do so. This is your practice. If you want, you can go ahead and turn the head slightly, not too much, no force at all. Turning so the nose is facing in the direction of your right shoulder, just in that direction. You notice the change of the sensation in your neck. Maybe it becomes a little bit further back. And maybe that doesn't work for you at all, and then you don't have to do this. Now bring your right hand underneath your head and support the head up to straight. Pause here, allowing the body to find symmetry. All right, now we're coming to the mat again, or you can actually stay where you are. <clears throat> We're going to use the chair. So for this one here, I'm going to just put my timer on zero. There we are. Your legs are in straddle, wide. It's not about how wide. It's just so you feel a nice sensation in the inner thighs, not too much. And we're going to open up the shoulder and the back. Options hands on the top of your chair, whatever you have, leaning forward. You can bring the chair further away from you if you're really that flexible. You can have it here. If this is too much, you fold the arms on top on it and bring it forward. You can adjust it with the tools that you have. So notice we are doing Kind of on the back here and the shoulder to open up. So play with the adjustment 
to see what works for you. But the arms are in front of you. And allow this part to open up in the shoulder. Okay. So find the position that works best for you. You can have blocks for the forehead. You can allow the forehead to hang down if you want. So wherever you are, there should not be any pain. If there is, do less. If you're feeling discomfort underneath your knees, you can bring that roll up towel underneath. So you need two towels or blankets. Relax your belly. Soften your face. Soften the shoulders. Allow yourself to be in the stillness. Using your exhalation to let go and soften. Allowing the tissue to open up in its own time with no force. Allowing the join, the joints to open up. We call it put a stress on the joints, but there is no pain. And slowly come up and we were four minutes in that pose now bring your feet down to the floor hands behind you and windshield wipe the legs side to side for the next one we're gonna be in for around three minutes Can always do longer if you want or less. Leave the setup how it is. I'm just going to show you from front first. So you're going to bring your right leg 
up in shoelace. So the knees are lined up with each other. If this is not available for you today, you can have the ankle over your knee and you can be in a seated position with ankle over knee, right? But the arms are the same. I'm gonna do eagle arms. Starting with the arms in cactus, and then you take your right elbow or right arm under the left, either the back of the hands or the palms. And if this is not available, you can simply bring the elbows together in the front. All right? So this position, it's nice to use the chair for this. So you have the arms to rest the shoulders on, or the arms, or the elbows, sorry. It's not high enough. You have your blocks. Okay? So I'll come into this position. Using the chair, legs are in front, or if you want to sit on them with right ankle over the left knee. That's perfectly fine. Okay? Crossing the arms in eagle pose. Right elbow under the left. Tilting the head on the chair or the blocks and just allowing your head to relax, soften. And we're gonna be in this pose for three minutes. So allow your face to soften. Relax your shoulders. Allow the fingers to be long, but soft. Relax your belly. And relax your feet. Observe your back body, the back of your shoulders, the side of the shoulders. The sensation should not be overly much or too much, just a soft sensation. We want to be careful not to overdo what we are doing here. Too much sensation might be more damaging. So pay attention to how this feels. If you're feeling that the breath is starting to, to be shallow or short, maybe you're holding the breath and you've gone too far. The breath will tell us. And then slowly release. Always undo your legs. Just keep your hands on your thighs for a moment and just observe. 
and you feel maybe an unevenness in your body. Maybe your legs, the buttocks, and also the upper body. It's a little bit, something is off. I can feel it. So we need to even it out. So now we're gonna do the other side. Okay. So, left over the right with your legs. Arms in cactus. And then you bring your left arm under the right. Either the back of the hands, palm, or simply together. All right. Got our timers. And then you find your position here with the blocks. If you're using the blocks, you don't have to. So having it up here is maybe slightly perfectly fine. Just do what works best for you. And I'll work with softening. And allow yourself to let go. observing how this side is different from the other side. It's interesting to learn about our body just simply being in the stillness, silence, observing. Soft breath, allowing the body to melt and soften. Then you use your exhalation to soften and melt. slowly release. Keep the arms to the side and observe again. It's a little bit more symmetry here. It's a little bit more even than when you did just one side first. All right. And now gently roll the shoulders. So the next one <clears throat> Stay in that one also for three minutes. You can use the chair. You will simply just sit on the chair or in a saddle pose. We call that saddle pose in yin yoga. The arms, where is it? In Gomukasana. Um, cow face arms or light arms also called. So I'm going to show you that. You're going to use the strap or tie or whatever you have. So you bring your right, your strap in your hand, right arm up, rolling the tissue in, bending the elbow, other arm comes back. 
and grabbing a hold of the strap in this manner here. So we're walking the fingertips up together using the strap. Right? So you're going to be doing that for three minutes. Timing is on. Strap in your right, rolling the arm up, kind of under the tissue under, bending, taking the left arm out to the side, bring it back, grabbing a hold of the strap. Make sure the trunk is lifted up, you're not folding forward, so it needs to be lifted up. So pay attention to this, the left shoulder, it tends to come forward. See if you can bring that left shoulder back. Lifting the sternum up towards the ceiling. And the rope is there for you just to hold them, to hold the arms in a position where they can start to open up. So you don't have to force anything. We don't want to do that. So the strap helps us to hold the arms there. And breathe softly through the nose. And allowing yourself to find a little bit of melting sensation. Softening. Just letting go. If there's too much sensation of stress in the body or pain, you're not going to be able to let go. Then we're going away from what yin yoga is about. We're opening up softly, safely, with no force. Close your eyes, observing the sensations, observing, observing the breath. We tend to fold forward in this one here, so keep the sternum up. The back is long. Lifting the sternum up. Keeping your left shoulder slightly back. And now three minutes are up. Slowly roll down, slowly. And just observe here. No wiggle. Feel a little bit of an unevenness here. So now we're going to do it so it's even. Maybe I'll do there. Bit. So, strap in the left, lifting up, rolling that upper arm in, bending, and then grabbing a hold of the strap with the other hand. Keeping the sternum lifted. And if you feel that you're always going forward, you might need to put something underneath your buttocks. I should have said it before, but you can always sit on a, on a blanket or something. Right? Lifting up, right shoulder back. Make sure the, outer, the upper elbow is not out to the side. It's really in, snug towards your face, towards your ear. Softening your face. Observe the body, the sensations. And noticing also what emotions this is bringing up to you. Emotions are connected to our body. The body is connected to our emotions. So anything we do with our body 
the physical body, will show up in motions. So observe. slowly release and no wiggle just let the arms hang and observe maybe there's a slight tingling sensation opening up the energy in your arms your shoulders letting the toxic get away from the body toxins that sits in the tissue. All right, now, it's nice to move around a little bit to that. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, my timer <laughs> there. Now simply extending your legs to the front, soften. And if you have issue with your hamstring tight this morning or afternoon or whatever there is with you, you can have a uh, towel blanket rolled up to totally your choice. I'm gonna have it this nice. Now hands behind you and so you're getting that movement back with your arms and you're gonna press your chest up to the ceiling. Now you can stay here and allow the head to be soft. If there is no issue with your neck, if your arteries are working well, if you have no headache, if you are just healthy with your neck, maybe allow the head to go back, but only if your neck is healthy. I am not gonna do that. I feel discomfort doing it. And for me, it's not safe. So I will not do it. So I'm just working with my arms, bringing them back and working my chest away from my arms. So that's what we're working more on than your neck or tilting the head back at all. So imagine yourself, oh, I forgot to time it. I'm gonna do this for three minutes. Imagine yourself, well, if you like the sun, <laughs> that you might be sunbathing if you like that stuff. A little bit like a sun worshiper. Enjoying the sun or whatever there is. So you're pressing away from the floor with your hands. It's a little bit maybe an effort here. You can always widen the arms if you need to. Bring the shoulder blades together in the back. Chest is opening up. 
and just normal breath. It's interesting to notice the more you are in the stillness and the longer you are in the pose, how the sensation changes. So observe that. Keep your chest lifted, bring the sternum away from your arms. And now slowly start to walk the hands towards you. Just pause. Observe. Now the next one. <clears throat> Your arms, you will rotate the upper arms away from you. So the fingertips are turning back, but the rotation starts in the upper arms here, rotating. All right? At the same time, you're tucking your toes under, heels are straight back, not turning out or in, straight back. Bringing your buttocks towards your heels, rotating the upper arms away from you. So the fingertips are facing your knees in that direction. Okay. And now we are pressing backwards towards the heels with the buttocks and pressing the heels, pressing the heels of the hands down. Okay. If you don't feel much here in your arm, you can walk the hand further forward and press the buttocks back. So observe the sensation in the front of your arm, that's the front of the arm, and your wrist. And observe which arm is tighter than the other, it needs to be opened up. I can definitely tell my right arm, my right wrist and lower arm is tight. All the issue that I have in my body is on my right side. <laughs> it's all connected. So I pay extra attention to my right side. And my left side is teaching me a lot of things. So both sides are important. But we need to observe and learn from it. Okay. 
and of course the toes. It's not the most comfortable thing to do with the toes and the back of the feet, but that is teaching us something also. Maybe we need to do a little bit more on them, pay more attention to our toes, the soles of the feet, the ankles. So I think that's really a lot of the lesson in this is where you feel the sensation, that is the body parts that maybe needs more attention, loving care, and working through it, working with it. Just see how you feel. All right, and slowly release it. And soften, and just sit down and just observe. And gently roll the wrist. So we were in that one for um, two minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. Um, that one is a challenging pose. So if it's one of the first time you do it, do less. You can, you'll feel it. And you rotate the other way. Two minutes to zero. Coming onto your back. Move all this stuff away. All right. Coming into a twist. So bring your knees to your chest. Lead your knees in the direction of your right armpit. Right hand on top on the right, or the left thigh, sorry. Left arm in cactus, getting that openness in your shoulder. And now rotate your face in the direction of your left arm. So we're getting a little bit of a twist there. If you feel that your chin is sticking up, bring a blanket underneath your head to even it out. And we're gonna stay in the twist for two minutes. Use your exhalation to let go of your hips, let go of your belly, and use your exhalation to let go of your left chest, shoulder, and arm. And notice your head, notice your cervical spine, your neck. If you're forcing the twist, you don't want to do that. Allowing the twist to happen, if it says stop, well then you stop of course. <laughs> Pay attention to why it's stopping, is it the bones, is it the tissue? Just pay attention to it. No forcing the twist. Allow yourself to settle, soften and melt with your exhalation. With each exhalation, you let go a little bit more. Now take a deep inhalation, on your exhalation, take the top leg up first to your chest and then the other, one leg at a time, so it doesn't put too much stress on your back. Okay. Now we're going to do to the other side, lead your knees in the direction of your left armpit, left hand on top of your right thigh, 
in right arm in cactus and looking over to the right arm. And maybe you can notice a different twist in your neck here. Maybe this side is looser or tighter than the other side. Observe it and notice. And now use your exhalation to let go of your hips. Let go of your belly. And let go of your right chest, shoulder and arm. And just letting go and soften. Take a deep inhalation. On your exhalation, take the top leg up first, followed by the other, and bring the feet down. Let's find a little bit of a symmetry here before we get into our shavasana. Spine is long from the crown of your head through the tailbone. lengthen in the back a little bit. So lift the hips up, bring the hands on the buttocks tissue and pull the buttocks tissue towards the heels and then lower the lower back slowly down. That's it. It's just a little bit of a length, not flattening completely to the floor. Just length. Now extend your legs out to the side or to Shavasana. Arms to the side, palm facing up. If you're feeling stress on your back or your knees or your hips, you can roll the blanket underneath your knees. That might feel good. Relax your legs completely. Soften your belly. Soften your chest, your shoulders, and your arms. Soften your jaw, your cheeks, your eyes, and your forehead. Just allow your whole body to soften and melt. With your soft, smooth, Allow yourself to stay in Shavasana as long as you want, as long as you need. Namaste. I see you next time. And toodaloo.